Finally today, Buffalo really prides itself on being a place that cares about its neighbors and helps them out when they need it. Since Sunday night, we've seen that unfold as hundreds of thousands of dollars in donations have rolled into Oshai Children's Hospital in memory of Josh Allen's grandmother, who recently passed away. Bill's Mafia is known for giving, but today I'm here to tell you about Buffalo's Book Mafia. All right, they're not actually called that, but there are a bunch of Buffalonians from near and far coming together to help Talking Leaves, the independent bookstore and Queen City treasure that's been around for almost 50 years. It's been hit hard by the pandemic, and it needs your help. On some level, when I walk in, I just see work, <laughs> uh, which is, you know, something I guess it's, it's what I do. But I also see the possibilities of that. I see that all these little packages of words um, can sort of reach out to someone and make a and make a change in their lives. Talking Leaves was the kind of shop you wander into, find things you didn't know you needed, and maybe even chat with people you never met before. That was a different chapter. When COVID-19 began to close everything down, the store had to do a pandemic pivot, closing its doors, cutting its staff, and basically becoming an online bookseller, filling specific orders for customers stuck at home. The business has managed to stay afloat, but it's been challenging. And now Talking Leaves is having to dig deep to get back to its roots. And so we, we find part of the reason it's been hard to reopen is that we just find that the web orders take so much time with the small staff. We don't have time to do the things that we want to do to make the store a safe place for people to shop. So um, that's why it's taken so long. Um, we're almost there and we're excited about that. Enter some new characters into our story concerned customers who just want to help. They've started a GoFundMe campaign, and as of right now, they've raised more than $60,000 toward their $300,000 goal. Jonathan says they are overwhelmed and grateful for the support, but not surprised, having developed a strong bond with so many loyal customers since the store opened in 1971. And he says, make no mistake, they don't want to go anywhere. Booksellers are by their nature hopeful. I mean, I, you know, books are hopeful objects in a way. We're doing everything we can to make sure that we can, you know, be sustainable business. Um, and, and at the same time, that our neighbors can be sustainable as well. I mean, it's, it's not just about us in that sense. It really is about shopping local and making sure that there's a, a ground that we all are connected to um, that, that has real meaning. And thanks again to Jonathan for chatting with us today. So if you want to help out Talking Leaves, you can shop online or you can give to the GoFundMe. I'll have the links for you on my Facebook and on Twitter. And that is Most Buffalo for today. Thanks so much for being here. We will do it all again tomorrow. Until then, I'm Kate Wellchauffer. Be well, stay well. I'll see you next time.